Welcome to week four, teasers on the box. Now by this point I'd been practicing teasers on the floor for a total of two weeks. And Amy thought it would be a good idea to put me on the reformer and try it on the moving carriage. Now hilarity ensues, this is so difficult for the first time. So not only do you have to hold the position and balance on a tiny part of your, your butt, but you've also got a moving carriage underneath you and you've got the resisting straps trying to pull you back. So it's really tricky to start off with. Uh, you need to really contract your lats and your core to keep your torso still and your balance held. And then to hold your legs up, you've really got to use your buttocks. Um, but because I was a novice, I didn't have my lats connected. I struggled to keep my core connected because I was tired and my hip flexors instead were lifting my legs instead of my buttocks. And my quads were also helping out due to inflexibility in my hamstrings. So I started to find this, this really difficult and I was really tired. As you can see, I'm, I'm spent right here. So you get a little breath break in between sets of three. We're doing three sets of three. So a little, little breath and back we go. Now when you do teasers on the floor, you don't usually raise and lower the arms. You can do, but you don't have the straps giving you extra resistance when you do it on the mat. So don't really do it so this was completely new to me you can see there I'm hunching my shoulders I haven't got any lat connection whatsoever I'm bending my legs there because my hamstrings are giving out and my flexors hip flexors are really struggling to keep them there and now we have to circle the arms which is really really difficult without a lat connection I don't know how I did that without back flipping off the box and landing ass over tit on the floor but somehow I managed it Next series gets even crazier. So here we are coming into the last set of three reps for the teasers on the box. This time we reverse the arm circles, which I thought Amy was just doing it to take the piss, to be quite honest. I thought she was quite enjoying watching me struggle and burn out here. But a healthy dose of maturism didn't go amiss, and I wanted to step up to the challenge. Amy informed me there's even harder ones to do from this, so... I wouldn't get ahead of myself too quickly. You can see that I'm hunching a lot. I'm really tired in the in the shoulders and in the core. Really struggling there to move my arms in a circle. This should eventually become a really graceful move, but it's far from it at the moment. Hip flexors are absolutely done. My abs are done. My shoulders are done. And instead, my lats and my deep core should be tired. But there you have it. So that's teasers week four. I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle and tune in next week for some more class videos.